For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein of Red Heart Super Saver in Grey Heather. As for tools, a 5 and a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using 7 stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet Half double crochet Double crochet Treble crochet And double treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting these bottoms started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that we want the height of our waistband to be, and I want mine to be 2.5 inches or 7 centimeters, so I'm going to start off by making a chain of 12. Now that we have our chain, to work our way up to the next row, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of one. From here, we're going to slip stitch into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook. So we're going to insert our hook into that chain and we're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. We're going to do one more slip stitch together. So into that next loop that we have into our chain, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through everything. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down our chain. Now that we've worked our way all the way down with our first row of slip stitches, next we're going to do a bunch more rows of back loop slip stitches. So to work our way up to the next row, we will do a chain up of one and flip our work. And from here, we're going to insert our hook into this next back loop that we have with a slip stitch to get some ribbing. So go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Let's do one more together. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more back loops left to go into. Once we make it down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip, and then work our way back with more back loop slip stitches. And we're going to keep doing this until we get a total length that we want for our waistband to be, and we want that to be able to fit around the widest part of our hips. Keeping in mind that once when we are putting this up to ourselves, that these back loop slip stitches stretches a lot. So keep that in mind when you guys are measuring up to yourself, but I'll meet you guys back in the next clip so I can let you guys know the measurement that I have and the amount of rows as well. So we are back and I have just finished up pulling in with my waistband and I ended up having a total of 116 rows or that comes out to 19 inches or 48 centimeters unstretched. But once when we have this, what we're going to do from here is just sandwich the two edge pieces together and we're going to single crochet along the bottom to seam it up. So since our hook is already into this corner loop, we're going to insert our hook into the corner loop that we have onto this back panel. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And from here, we're just going to single crochet, making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So into this next available loop that we have into the front panel, go ahead and insert your hook. And then also into the next available loop we have in the back panel, insert our hook and then single crochet them together. Let's do this together just one more time into that next available loop into the front panel. And also into that next available loop into that back panel. We will single crochet. Go ahead and keep doing this going all the way down and I'll meet you guys back once we get to the edge of this row. So we're back and we have just finished up seaming up our waistband together and right before we start working on our detail we're just going to have to go around with a row of single crochet. So what we're going to do is flip our work so that our seam is along the inside. We can do a chain up of one and then we're going to go in with our single crochet row together along the top of our waistband. So making sure that we're counting as we're going, we're going to be putting one single crochet into each of these side slip stitch rows. So let's just do the first bit together. My first side slip stitch row is this divot that I have right here. So there's not going to be any pretty loops for us to go into. We're just going to need to insert our hook into one of those top loops and single crochet. The next side slip stitch row that we have is this one that sticks out. We're going to have to find a loop that's on top of that row and single crochet. Let's do one more set together. My next slip stitch is this divot right here, so go ahead and find a loop that's right on top. Single crochet, and my next one is this one that sticks out, so find a loop on top, and single crochet. 
and I'm just going to be doing that going all the way around. Once we make our way around, go ahead and slip stitch into that chain one space that we left for ourselves, and then I'll meet you guys back. We've just finished up going in with our single crochet row, and now we can start working on our cabling detail. So from here, what we're going to do is do a chain up of two, and then we're going to go in with seven half double crochet, making sure we're going in the same direction that we would be going into. So we're going to prepare for a half double, go into that next loop, we're going to insert our half double, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. Let's do this one more time together, we're going to prepare for a half double, insert into that next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're just going to keep doing this until we have a total of seven half double crochets, not counting this chain up of two. Finishing up our half double crochet row, we should have a total of seven half double crochet or eight if we're counting up our chain up of two. Once we have this, we're going to do another chain up of two and then make our way back down with more half double crochets because we need to start our cabling along this side. So we're going to flip our work and then go all the way down, putting one half double into every loop that we have. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can do our cabling together. Now that we've finished up going in with our second half double crochet row, now we can all start going in with our cable stitches together. So what we're going to do is do a chain up of two that counts as a half double, and we will also be flipping our work. And then into this first stitch that we have for ourselves, we're going to go in with just one half double. So go ahead and prepare, insert, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Once we have our first half double crochet, now we can go in with our front post double treble crochets which is like regular treble crochets, but we're going to be doing a yarn over of three instead of two. So in order to get our cabling, we're actually gonna start off by skipping these first two half double crochet posts that we did in the first row. So we're going to count this first one. This counts as one, two, three, and then we're gonna be inserting our hook behind that fourth post. So we're going to yarn over one, two, three times, and then we're gonna insert our hook behind that post. So go ahead and insert underneath that half double crochet post and bring it on through the other side. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and just one more, yarn over, and pull through two. And that is our first front post double treble. And since these posts are worked in sets of two, we're going to do one more into the post right after that. So we're going to yarn over one, two, three times again and then insert our hook into that next post that we have and bring it through the other side. From here, we're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And now that we have these two done, we're going to shift our way back to these first two half double crochets that we skipped in that first row. And we're going to yarn over one, two, three times again, and then insert your hook into this first half double crochet, doing another front post double treble. So go ahead and insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And like I said before, they're worked in sets of two, so we're gonna be doing one more of those. So go ahead and yarn over one, two, three times into that post that we have right in between the first one and the first one that we did in the other set, we're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And we should have just these last two posts left, not including this last one right here. So once we have this, we're gonna go in with regular front post treble crochets. So we're just gonna yarn over twice, go into that next post, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and we have just one more left to go into, so go into that last post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Once when we have that, we're gonna be putting one half double crochet into the last stitch that we had in the previous row so that this can be held down. So yarn over, insert our hook into that last loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And this is what our first cabling row looks like. It looks like nothing much, but once we go into the next one, it'll look better, I promise. So once we get here, we do need to start off our cables on this side. So we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then go down, putting one half double into every loop that we have until we reach the end. 
Now that we've put one half double into every stitch going all the way down, we're going to do another row of cabling, but this one is going to be different from the previous row. So we're going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. We're going to start off by putting one half double into the first stitch that we have right here. And now we're going to start off with doing a regular front post treble crochet into the set of two front post double trebles. So we're going to yarn over twice and then take a look at this first post that we have in that previous cable row, go behind that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then we're going to be doing one more into the one right after that, so yarn over twice, into that next post, pull through, pull through, two, and two. And once we have that, we're going to be skipping these next two posts and we're going to go in with another front post double treble. So let's yarn over three times, skip these next two posts right here, and then go into the two right after that. So insert your hook into that next post, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, two, and two, and we have just one more left to go into. Yarn over three times, behind that last post, pull through, pull through, through, two, and two. Now I have just one more set of front post double trebles left to go into, but this one's gonna be a little tricky because we're gonna have to go underneath this set that we just did so that we can get this to cross underneath right here. So we're gonna start off by doing a yarn over of three. We're gonna hold our yarn down because it may slip off, and then we're actually just going to pull what we just did down like this so that we can see these two posts that we just skipped. So we're just going to pull our work down a little bit and then we can see these two posts a little bit easier and then we're going to go into that first available post that we have. So we're going to bring our hook back, insert into that post, pull through. From here we're going to yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And now that we have our first one, it's a little bit easier to go into the second one, but we're gonna do it together anyways. We're going to yarn over three times, pull our work down just a little bit to find that last post that we have into that previous cable stitch row. And then we're gonna go in with another front post, double treble. So pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then just to close this off together, we're just going to prepare for a half double, go into that last loop that we have in the previous row with a half double. And this is what we should have so far. So the first row when it comes to our cabling was doing two front post double trebles into the two middle posts that we had in our first half double crochet row. And then after that, we did another set of two front post double crochets going into the first two posts in that same half double crochet row. And then we finished off with front post treble crochets just going straight up and down into those last two. We did a chain up of two, did half double crochets going all the way down, and then for our next cable stitch section we started off with a half double crochet and then did two front post trebles into the first two posts that we had. From there we skipped these next two posts, did another set of two front post double trebles into the last two posts that we had here, and then to close it off, we did another set of two front post double trebles, but we went underneath our work so that this cable, our second set of cables, could go underneath our work right here. And then from here, we're just going to keep repeating these steps until we get the length that we want. We're just going to work our way back with half double crochets just once more, and then we're going to do our cabling sections again just to make sure that we have it all down, and then I'll let you guys go from there. So just to do our cable section just one more time together, since we're at this end, we're going to start off by doing a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch going all the way down. So our first half double crochet is all finished up. We're going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. And let's do our first cable stitch row together. So just like before, we are going to put one half double into that first loop right here and start off by doing a front post treble crochet into the middle post that we have right here. It is this crisscross one, but it is still the middle one. So go ahead and insert your hook behind there. Pull through, pull through two, 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 two. And like I said, they're done in sets of two, so we got one more to do. 
yarn over three times, go into the post right after that, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. Now doing the next front post double treble, we're going to yarn over three times and then go into those two posts that we just skipped. So go into that first one right here, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two, and we got one more to do. So go ahead and yarn over one, two, three times, and then go into that last post that we have right over here. One, pull through two, 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 and two. And to close off this cable section, we're gonna do a regular front post treble into those last two posts. So just yarn over twice, and then into that second to last post, do a regular front post treble, and then into that last post, do just one more. Once we have that, we are going to prepare for a half double and then put one half double into the last stitch that we have in the previous row, just so that this corner isn't flip flopping around. Once when we have that, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work and make our way back down, putting one half double into every stitch. We just made our way down with our next half double crochet row. So do a chain up of two, flip our work, and we're gonna do our second row of cabling together. So just like before, we're going to put one half double into that first stitch. And just like how we did row five in the previous row, we're going to start off with two front post trebles. So just yarn over twice and insert our hook into that first post, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 and we got one more to go into, into that next post. So yarn over twice, into that next post, pull through two, 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 and two. And then we have two more sets of front post double trebles to go into. So yarn over one, two, three times. We're going to be skipping these next two posts for now and go into that second to last post with one front post double treble. So pull through, pull through two, 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 two. And we got one more to go into, into that last post. So yarn over three times. Next post, pull through two, 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 two and two. Now this next part is gonna be a little tricky. It's just like how we did the last row. We're going to need to pull our work down and then go into these two middle posts that we skipped. So we're gonna yarn over one, two, three times and hold your hook and hold your yarn down. Pull your work down so that you can find those two posts that we just skipped. And then we're gonna insert our hook into that first post, yarn over, pull through, Pull through two, 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 and two, and we have just one more post left. So we're going to yarn over three times, insert our hook into that next post, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 and we are done with this row. Just to close it off, we're gonna put one half double into that last stitch in the previous row. And now this is what our cables should look like. Well, once when we have this, we're just going to keep going all the way down until we get the length of the shorts that we want. And then I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know how many rows I went in with and then also what we're going to do after that. So we are back and I've just gone in with my cabling section right here and this is the perfect length that I want. I came out with a total of 23 rows and this came out to 9 inches or 23 centimeters. And once when we have this, we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. We're just going to need to find out where that middle point is. So from this seam, we're going to keep counting in the same direction that our cable stitches is going in. We're going to flip our work and then insert our stitch marker into that halfway loop. And then from that middle stitch marker, we're going to continue counting in that same direction and count out another eight and then insert our next stitch marker into there because that's the amount of loops that we need so that we can go in with our next cable section. Once we have those two blocked off, just make sure that we have everything evened out on both sides and then we can get started on this next section together. And once when we have that, we are going to insert our hook into that first loop that our stitch marker is in, just making sure that our seam is faced along the inside because our cable section isn't reversible. We wanna make sure that it's faced out. Once when we have that, we can take out our stitch marker, insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through, and start off by doing a chain up of two that counts as a half double, and then we're gonna go down putting one half double into every stitch that we have until we have a total of seven half double crochets not including this chain up of two. And now that we've made our way down with our first set of half double crochets, next we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. We're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, 
And from there, we're gonna put one half double crochet into every stitch that we have going back down our work. And then we're just gonna repeat the same cable stitches that we had on the other side until we have the same amount of rows. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on the rest of these shorts. So now that we finished up going in with both of our cables, this is what our work should be looking like. Now we can actually get started on the pant leg portions. So what we're gonna do, in between our two cables, we are gonna find that middle stitch and then insert our stitch marker into those middle loops. And from here, we're just gonna work on a solid block of back loop slip stitches, and then another matching one on the other side, and then we're gonna do the other side and then seam it all up. So what we're gonna do is take a look at any one of these cables, and then we're gonna start going in with a row of single crochet. But before we get started, we will be switching out for a six millimeter hook just to give us a little bit more stretch. But what we're going to do is insert our hook into this bottom corner, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and since we're working into a bunch of side half double crochets, we're gonna be alternating between one single crochet into the first and then two single crochet into the second. So what we're gonna do from here is do a chain up of one to secure, and then into this first side half double crochet, we're first gonna go in with one single crochet. So into that side loop, go ahead and put one single crochet, and then into that next side half double, we're gonna go in with two single crochet. So there is one, there is two. We're gonna do this set together one more time. Into this next side half double, we're gonna go in with one single crochet, next side half double, two single crochet. And keep doing this going all the way up and then I'll meet you guys back once we hit our waistband so that we can slip stitch into there, flip our work and bring it on back down. So now that we've made our way all the way down with our first row of single crochet, making sure that we're alternating between one to two single crochets into each side half double, we're going to slip stitch into that base. So we're gonna take a look at this next available loop that we have into our waistband. We're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything to close off this row. And then in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next available loop into the base, flip our work, and then we're gonna go in with back loop slip stitches. So into this first back loop that we have, we're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through everything just like how we did for the waistband. We're gonna keep doing this going all the way down. Once we don't have any more loops left, we're gonna do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it on back down with more back loop slip stitches. Once we hit the base, we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did here. So just slip stitch into the next available loop to close off that row, and then slip stitch into that next loop after that to work our way up to the next row, flip our work, and then do more back loop slip stitches going all the way down. We're gonna keep doing that going all the way down until we hit our stitch marker. We're gonna do a chain up of one and cut and then I'll meet you guys back just to remind you guys what we're gonna do for the next sections as well. Alrighty, so we are back and this is what we should have once when we have just one section of our back loop slip stitches all done up all the way until we got to our middle stitch marker. And we're actually gonna do the same thing for all the other sides that we have. So it's gonna be the exact same way. We're just gonna be inserting our hook into this bottom corner do a row of single crochets where we alternate between one to two single crochets into every other side half double, and then just go back and forth with back loop slip stitches until we hit our middle stitch marker, and we're going to flip our work and then do the same thing on the other side as well, and then I'll meet you guys back once we have all that done up so that we can connect everything. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with each of the panels that we have that's on both sides of the cable. And this is what things are looking like. I did go ahead and do this connecting piece just so that we can do it together. But once when this is all finished up, you're going to want to try on your shorts at this point. And then you're gonna to wanna to figure out where we want our middle connector to be. And I have measured mine from the bottom up to where I have my stitch marker. I have a total of three inches or eight centimeters, or that's a total of 13 loops. So I've inserted my stitch marker into there, in through the front panel and through the back panel. And then once when we know where we want that to be, we can actually go in with this middle connector, which is very similar to how we did the body portion. All I'm gonna do is turn my work facing this way so that I can work from the stitch marker down. And I'm doing it that way because I ended up here and I want my ribbing to be the same. If you guys ended at the bottom, then your job is much easier. Just insert your hook into this corner and then work your way back up until you guys hit the stitch marker point that you guys have. But everything else is going to be exactly the same. I will be taking my stitch marker out now that I know where to insert it. I'll be inserting my same six millimeter hook into that back loop, grab my yarn, pull through. I'm gonna start off by doing a chain up of one. And then from here, I'm gonna go all the way down with back loop slip stitches. Once we hit the end, we're gonna do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it on back down with more back loop slip stitches. Remembering not to skip 
this chain up of one that we just did. But other than that, we're actually just gonna keep going back and forth like that for a little solid chunk until it's long enough to reach this other side. So once when you guys have a little bit, go ahead and try it on, making sure that it fits you nicely. And keep in mind that this does stretch as well, so just be sure that you guys are stretching it as much as it can to get the fit that you want. But I'm just gonna keep going back and forth until I have a chunk that is long enough to reach this other side. Once when I have that, I will let you guys know how many rows I have and then also the measurements and how we're gonna connect it to the other side as well. So we are back and I have just finished up going in with my inner thigh portion that I have right here and I ended up having a total of 14 rows or just this little chunk that I have is two and a half inches or seven centimeters. Well, once we have this, we are actually ready to just connect it to the other side that we have for this pant leg. So what we're going to do is turn our work any which way that it needs to be turned and then we're gonna go in seaming it up just like how we seamed up our waistband. Just make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out so that our seam is along the inside. So since my inner thigh portion is along this side, I will be inserting my hook in through this loop that my stitch marker was just, making sure that I have the same amount of loops as my inner thigh connector right here. I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through, and we're just gonna do the first few together since we already know how to do our seam. So into the first available loop that we have into the front panel, I'm going to be inserting my hook into there, and then also into the first available loop that we have into the back panel, go ahead and insert your hook into there as well. And once we have that, go ahead and go in with a single crochet. And we're just gonna keep doing this, going all the way down. Once we don't have any more loops left to go into, we're gonna do a chain up of one and cut. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did here along the other side, seam it all up, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can connect the middle portion together. So we're back and we have just finished up going in with our inner thigh portions. And now we have this super big gap right here in the middle. So all we're gonna do is just seam that up. So what we're going to do is first turn our work to the side and we're going to want to make sure that our work is still flipped wrong side out because we want our seams to all face the same direction. Once we have that, we're going to take our same hook and then first insert it into these two loops that we have that it's right into the waistband. It doesn't need to be any specific loops. We just want to make sure that we're going into the waistband first to eliminate any gaps. So once we do that, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through and we're just going to seam just like before. So just to get this started together, we're gonna insert our hook into this first available loop into the front panel and then also into the first available loop that we have into the back panel. And then from there, we are going to single crochet. Let's do this together just one more time into the next available loop into the front, next available loop, into the back and then single crochet and we're going to keep doing this going all the way down i will meet you guys back once we get to our inner thigh connecting portions just to show you guys how that's going to work but it's pretty much the same thing but i will meet you guys back down here all right so we have just made our way down with our seam going down towards our inner thigh portion and we're just going to do the first few inner thigh seams together just to show you guys because it could be a little confusing because there's not any real loops for us to go into so what we're going to do once we get here, we are still going to be sandwiching these two pieces together. So we're going to grab this piece and this piece and sandwich them together. And we're just going to want to make sure that we're going in through the same side slip stitch row from the front panel into the back panel. So just taking a look at this first one right here, I'm going to insert my hook into this first available loop into the front panel and then making sure we're going into the same loop into the back panel, which is this one right here and then single crochet. Let's just do one more together. This is my next side slip stitch row into my front panel, so I'm gonna insert my hook into there. And then this is my next side slip stitch row into my back panel, so I'm gonna insert my hook into there. And from here, we're going to single crochet. And we're just gonna keep doing this going all the way around. Once we make our way to this back end, we are going to seam this up just like how we did the front portion. And then we're gonna do a slip stitch into the base right here to eliminate the gaps on this side as well and then i will meet you guys back so we've just finished up seaming up the entirety of our pant portion and then we need to go in with our bottom border as y'all can see i already have one done so we're just going to do the next one together because they're going to be exactly the same so the first thing we're going to do is insert our five millimeter hook into any one of these loops that we have right here that is within our inner thigh portion it doesn't matter because we're all going to come around full circle anyways Go ahead and insert your yarn onto our hook. 
pull through and do a chain up of one. And from here, we're going to go all the way around with a row of single crochet, making sure we're going in through each side slip stitch row that we have. So just to do the first few together, my next side slip stitch row is this one that sticks out right here. So I'm just going to find that top loop. And then single crochet. And I'm going to find this next side slip stitch row, which is this divot. We're going to go in there with a single crochet. This top is my next side slip stitch. So single crochet and this divot is my next going to single crochet into there. Go ahead and keep doing this going all the way around. Once we make our way all the way back around, we're going to slip stitch in that chain up of one space that we made for ourselves and then I'll meet you guys back. So now that we've made our way all the way around with our single crochet row, we are next going to go in with a row of half double crochets. Nothing fancy. So now that we've slip stitched into there, we're going to start this row off by doing a chain up of two. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then just go into that first loop with a half double crochet. And then we're just going to be putting one half double crochet into every stitch that we have, making our way all the way around. Once we don't have any more loops left, we're going to slip stitch into that second chain that we made for ourselves when we started off this row. Then I'll meet you guys back so we can do some front and back post double crochets. So our first rows of half double crochets are all finished up. And the next thing we're going to do is go in with a bunch of front and back post double crochets. So we're going to start this row off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double. And once we have that, we're going to do one front post, one back post, and we're going to alternate all the way around just like that. So let's do this together. It's going to kind of be like how we did the cable stitches. So we're going to prepare for a double, insert our hook into that next available post. We're going to be inserting our hook behind that post, bring it through the other side. This is going to be our front post double. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, and then finish this off like a regular double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So starting our back post double crochet together, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. Insert our hook over that next post and through the other side. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do this set together just one more time. So doing our next front and back post set together, we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then insert our hook behind that next available post that we have. So we're going to insert our hook behind that post bring it through the other side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And we have one more back post to do with each other, so we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook behind our work, go over that next post that we have and bring it through the other side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And keep alternating between a front and back post double crochet going all the way around, once we don't have any more loops left, we're going to slip stitch into that third chain that we made at the beginning of this row. And then I'll meet you guys back just to do the next row of front and back post double crochets together. And now that we've made our way all the way around with our first row of front and back post double crochets, we're just going to go in with one more. And whatever we did in the previous row, we're just going to keep up with that post so that we can keep up with the ribbing that we have. So just to start this off together, we're going to start this with a chain up of three. And this first post that we have is a front post double, so we're going to be doing a front post double into that one. So yarn over, insert our hook behind that post, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then let's do this back post together. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook behind this post, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. And we're just going to keep up with all these posts that we have, making our way all the way around. So we have just made our way all the way across with our second row of front and back post double crochets and in total that was a total of four rows and I went ahead and did the exact same thing on the other side. Did a chain of one and cut there and I'm actually all finished up with this portion of my shorts. The last thing that we have to do is just make a chain that can weave in and out of all of these rows that we have for our waistband. So I made a chain of 155 or that came out to 38 inches or 97 centimeters. And from there, I just wove it into the waistband, pulled it through, tied a cute bow, and I'm all done. The last thing that we have to do for this guy is just tie in all the ends. Now that we've woven in our ends, these are our shorts all finished up. These are so comfortable and cozy. I can't wait for you guys to make them and to hear how much you guys love them too. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us which you prefer, coffee or tea. Good luck to everyone who enters. 
Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.